Hello everyone, so today it's week 9 Yes, it's the best tech news of week 9 And uh, I am actually going to have these uh, part 1 and part 2 I'm actually going to launch every part 1 on Fridays Friday nights uh, here in Sweden actually it's night but but I guess it's um, a little bit late afternoon maybe in US and when I'm actually uploading this video and uh, I'm thinking about uh, you know launching this uh, part 2 video uh, every f Saturday actually uh, pretty much the same time as on the uh, Friday part 1 but uh, yeah I will you know have more news coming up like maybe one two um, maybe two videos or more per day so instead of having this uh, very long tech news on Fridays like 20 minutes or something like that I will have 10 minutes at times two and uh, that makes you having something to wait on on the Saturday and uh, that is pretty good uh, according to me of course but uh, you may not think it's good you maybe want it to be on the same uh, video but uh, yeah I'm thinking that uh, this is the way to go but um, yes so um, let's go ahead with the news and uh, this week we have uh, the small mobile world congress uh, which was a few days ago and um, i can also tell you that on this congress we saw a lot of nice cell phones and uh, i think it was a few tablets too uh, which was uh, launched on this uh, congress uh, one of these uh, big companies that was uh, uh, launching stuff was HTC and uh, Sony was also uh, launching some stuff and uh, Samsung and LG so these guys are the biggest ones uh, within you know Android there are also CTE but they ain't that big they are pretty big on the budget uh, market but uh, they have no high-end cell phone as far as I know and uh, the first news is that uh, Sony is um, kinda going to uh, release um, official ice cream sandwich ROMs for their Xperia phones pretty soon and uh, there are actually some betas leaked now so uh, there was like alpha modes or alpha roms of this ice cream sandwiches um, sandwiches <laughs> anyway uh, for these uh, Xperia phones in uh, December and uh, they are now working on making their like official roms uh, done to be launched for their Xperia phones as fast as possible and uh, yes the official ones will be released soon and uh, we also heard from HTC that they are working hard to make uh, their like ice cream sandwich ROMs for their XE XL and of course that is pretty nice news and <laughs> I mean um, the XE and the XL was launched a few months back and uh, they have gingerbread now if I remember right so they are going to have ice cream sandwich in just maybe one to two months and um, that is pretty freaking nice news if you have an on uh, HTC XE or N XL and we also saw that there was this uh, iPhone 5 concept uh, kind of like a fan art from maybe an, an iSheep or something that's or I mean someone that's just trying to get some attention um, I think that this guy 
that made this uh, little concept or fan art or whatever you should call it uh, have made some other ones uh, like a few years back or last year or something like that and uh, uh, I mean this uh, little fan art or concept or yeah whatever you should call it uh, was uh, pretty nice actually uh, very nice looking uh, like this little curved back like it went like this uh, almost like a a little bit more curved than the uh, Galaxy Nexus actually and that is some really nice design according to me I would actually considering buying an Apple product if it was designed like that and if it had this little bigger screen you know maybe a 4.3 inch um, 3.5 is just too small I actually think that um, the S2 have this perfect size on the L screen and we also saw this Samsung Galaxy S3 being leaked yes and it was announced at uh, Gizmodo actually and uh, now this Samsung Galaxy S3 that is some really interesting rumors because uh, uh, I mean um, it's not a rumor it's kind of leaked but the specs that they are talking about is just insane we're talking about 1080p display HTC just come out with a 720p display they're starting off with this 720p display and I mean Samsung have been out with this 720p display with this uh, you know Samsung Galaxy Note and uh, some other devices and uh, of course you know they want want to move on and they want to be the want this uh, S3 to be the best phone of maybe this year who knows and uh, <coughs> maybe they ain't planning to make a you know high-end cell phone after this this year maybe they're just planning to make this uh, new S uh, version every year and they're probably planning to make it the best one everywhere every year and uh, you know uh, these other specs besides 1080p is you know like 1.5 gigahertz quad core their uh, you know new Exynos uh, processor which is great I mean I think it's going to crush Tegra 3 but of course I'm not sure yet because I haven't seen any benchmarks and we can never really say for sure that the this Exynos uh, processor will crush Tegra 3 but yeah and it's also you know rumored or leaked specs I don't really know what I should call it but uh, these uh, specs is uh, 4.8 inch uh, almost we saw this picture also um, being like uh, edge to edge display I mean if you let's say this is the cell phone I mean smartphone the edge goes from there to there I mean there's no gap between the screen and the sides of the smartphone and that is something that I like we have never really seen a smartphone with that uh, as far as I can know uh, I, I have never seen a smartphone with edge to edge display anyway and uh, edge to edge display would be nice and uh, we also have this one more um, news for this uh, part one and that is that HTC just launched One X and One S and uh, they launched it on the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona this week and the One X is HTC's first quad core um, before it was rumored to be named Edge and Endeavor but it was named One X and this quad core have a battery of 
1850 milliampere hours I think and that is pretty nice uh, also have a 4.3 inch display with 720 resolution and this 1S have a little bit you know budget specs a dual core uh, 1.5 gigahertz and uh, it's not a 720p display uh, I think it was 4.3 inch though um, and uh, a little bit you know worse battery but of course that is expected by HTC because if they have a phone with a quad core with um, a little bit better than the dual core that's not you know bad in any way and uh, yeah that's pretty much all for this uh, you know part one and as you can see I just you know light the lamp because it started to get pretty uh, dark outside actually and it gets dark outside pretty you know early here in Sweden and uh, yeah you should stay tuned for my episode uh, 2 or you know part 2 or whatever you should call it uh, it will be available tomorrow night yes watch this little preview I got after this too and uh, yeah enjoy the Friday see ya tastes really really good tastes a lot better than it looks